Hey everyone, uh, this is Jim Schwabel, the CEO of Surveylex. Um, so thank you for so much for signing up for uh, our product. Um, I just wanted to take you quickly through the Surveylex journey, um, kind of why we started our company and, and how we got to where we're at, and also um, what we uh, plan on uh, delivering to you in form of value. To get you sort of know what to expect. So, um, so yeah, so at Surveylex, we believe that surveys are not realizing their potential. Um, in fact, this, I experienced a lot of that this, this week. Um, I flew a Delta flight and I got a survey from Delta. I, I went to the Olive Garden um, and recently uh, saw a huge survey on, on their, uh, their, their machine, um, their payment machine. And I also got a survey that I, uh, that I did for the Noonan Dentistry. But the problem with a lot of these types of surveys is that it's pretty poor user experience. Um, it takes a pretty long time to complete them, usually five to 10 minutes. And increasingly, they're becoming longer and longer, leading to more and more questions, um, leading to high dropout rates and fewer, uh, I guess less quality in each response uh, for, for the users. Um, in fact, so, you know, in the Delta flight, for example, um, I, I did the first page of questions and there are 10 more questions or 10 more pages of, of, uh, to do to fill out. So I just didn't have enough time to do it. So I actually just didn't complete uh, the, the survey. And so with, with our company, what we're doing is creating the new SurveyLex survey experience, uh, where users, instead of typing or clicking a response, they speak a response. And in doing so, it, you can lead to fewer questions and higher overall quality for, for each response. Um, for example, you might say, hey, how do you think, what do you think about the new Diet Coke? Um, you then could give a voice response. You could describe the, the taste uh, or, or just describe the Coke uh, experience that you had um, and complete a survey uh, all within the browser uh, on any device and, and ultimately have a, a quick response that has the same fidelity as you would a normal survey. Um, like I said, we, we, we do this across any device through the browser. So it's, it's pretty, dis uh, you can distribute this uh, widely um, uh, to your end users like you would any other survey. And we believe that uh, there's tremendous value that we can deliver to you, uh, mainly through exporting the raw audio, um, creating a better experience for the survey maker and the survey taker in terms of the time and, uh, that completed and the number of questions, um, exporting the transcripts, um, the actual words being used uh, matter here. You can go deeper in resolution and not only see on, on a scale of one to five, how, how the experience was, but also go deeper and know why the experience uh, was that thing. Uh, for example, you might describe the food at the Olive Garden or your experience in the Delta flight with the flight attendant and the staff. Um, you can kind of like hone in on uh, a lot of the things that made the experience good or, good or bad so that you can give actionable feedback to, uh, to, to the end user. Um, we also can auto-label uh, things within the survey from each response like ages, genders, races, and emotions so that a lot of the users don't have to type this into to their survey. So we can reduce the number of questions and, and ultimately help you zone in on your end user and understand uh, their responses at a, at a deeper level. Uh, we're actively uh, improving our bank of machine learning models for you for this. And a lot of these can be exported as CSV export files um, in, in, in our product. Uh, so, so ultimately, we, we think we can save you a lot of time. Um, you know, you can get more responses and save the time that you would otherwise spend on, um, on, on getting more of those responses, either through manual interviews or, or through other ways. Uh, we also think this is a better experience for the survey taker or interviewee. Um, a lot of the other platforms out there focus on video-based approaches. Uh, we believe that a, a voice-based approach is more comfortable for the end user. And we've consistently seen this with our users that, um, that it's, it's a better overall experience. People converse uh, more with a voice-based solution than a video-based solution. And ultimately, uh, we can be up to 10x more um, effective uh, in terms of cost savings and, and, and ultimately having a similar overall um, experience than these other platforms. We've had a, uh, lots of pilots out there. Um, we've talked to a lot of different companies and enterprises um, we're backed by Betaworks, um, a great investor out of New York City, and, and we've gone through many accelerator programs like Mass Challenge um, and, uh, and others. And uh, we're well on our way to, to grow our company within many verticals, 
uh, much like SurveyMonkey, but for voice enabled surveys. Um, so as a next step, you guys are probably already created an account. Um, feel free to play around and use uh, the platform. Um, I definitely encourage you to create a survey, get some responses, get some value. Um, then after the trial period, um, you can talk deeper with our team and how we can add it, uh, you know, value continually and, and figure the right pricing model um, and, and structure for, for you. Um, again, thank, thank you so much. I'm Jim Schwebel, um, the CEO of Servilex. If you have any questions, please reach out. Um, I'll definitely make time for you. Um, we always listen to our users. Um, if you have any feedback or, or ways that we can improve, let, it, let me know. I'm, I'm very uh, excited to, uh, to hear from you. Thank you.